Let's go, Malachi 26. Every single day we must remember to stay in the spirit of the Most High. A spirit is talking about a mentality, a mindset. And his spirit, his mindset is to be holy. What makes us holy? The laws of God. That's why we going over what with our people? The laws of God. Come on. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. What? I change not. That means he ain't changed. The only thing that stops is animal sacrifice. The other commandments, we still supposed to be applying. We still supposed to be teaching. You got any questions? No, you grew up in Christianity, or baptism, or anything? No, it's fine. That's probably it. No questions at all. Okay, okay. So all these things that we've been taught and we've been lied to, we gotta come up out of that. That's what it means to be born again. That's what it means to be born again. Oh, first that's enough. No, give me Romans 13 and 11. Because all of a sudden, stuff else I like, right? Everything is here. Oh, both of them, right? So this is all right. This is in the Bible as well because we are not getting any time back. So we gotta redeem the time by repenting. You understand? Get out! Any questions you got, bro? Speak up, all right? Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Look at that. that. Knowing the time. That ain't just talking about whatever time it is right now, 11 30 in the morning. No, no. It's talking about the time and the season that we're in. The end days. Christ is already hit the scene. This is the last day. We've been warned it's going to be perilous times in the last days, which it is. They're going to be lying on the prophets even more, locking the prophets up, killing the prophets, whatever it may take. This is already prophesied in the Bible. So knowing that this is the last days for the Israelites to get it right and be back on top, please. That now it is high time to awake. It's high time to what? Awake. You gotta stop walking around this sleep, son. They say you've been over here several times. I've been to this bar twice. How many times you've been here? Too many damn times to not be where you're supposed to be at. You see what I'm saying? Come on. To awake out of sleep. Uh -huh. For now is our salvation. Our what? Our salvation. Our what? Salvation. Our salvation. You know what salvation is, son? Yes. I said 14 to 2. What is salvation, son? Talk to us, please. Salvation. Salvation, yes. That's to be saved. To be saved. I like it, okay? That's all you got? I'm not mad at you. Okay, so saved from what, So Let me jog it up for you. Saved from what, huh? Saved from them, saved from... Wait, wait, saved from who? You say them? Who is them? I like I like plain, specific shit. Like the Bible said. I'll read it for you. Like the world. Don't play with me. What do you mean? Saved from who? From this world. From this world. Who in this world? What in this world? Talk to me. We ain't gonna play no more games. I need to know specifics. People play too much, and they play too many wrong games and God and shit. I'm big tired of it. Tell me what you mean. Say, 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 too. Who else? Are you scared to talk about the so-called white man? Because I'm not. Bring it out. So-called white man. Because I'm not. Is anybody that's not a nation Israel is our enemies, and we can talk about it, Sean. It's okay. Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, read. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and hand. So this is when we back on top when we got the key. Right now we ain't got the key because we'll probably go to a I guess a rock to the I believe it says we lost it due to our sin basically. That's why the kingdom got translated from hand to hand. That's why we're on the bottom. So at this time when we repent like we're trying to get you to do right now, we'll be back up right. We are. For servants and handmaids, uh -huh. and they shall take them captives, uh -huh. whose captives they were, mm -hmm. and they shall rule. Whose captives are we, Sean? Mm -hmm. Whose land have we been in and been slaved to? Uh -huh. Who is the deal, Sean? Talk about it. The European. The old white man. You said the right. Europeans, right? Ah, uh, you ain't got to be scared. But everybody has had us enslaving, Sean. All of them are our enemies. All of them are our enemies. But we're going to deal with them. I'm not telling you to pull out of a shed and go get a gun and pop nobody no. We're telling you to repent. Come on. And they shall rule over their oppressors. The Israelites shall rule over their oppressors. The so-called Europeans, you said, and everybody else, we are going to rule over them. That's what you to say. Out. 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 And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest. And the Lord shall what? Give thee rest. That sounds like salvation to me, don't it to you, Sean? Let's find out what we're getting saved from. Bring it out. From thy sorrow. From what? Thy sorrow. It's a hard life when you out here and you gotta learn that a child got murdered. I got stick, y'all, for five minutes. It's a hard life out here when you gotta learn that another sister that went to an abortion clinic and had a baby murdered in there. It's a sad life like you said when we out here killing each other. Gang banging and whatnot. Right. We can't sit down and talk. Hey, bro, did you do this and did you do that? Did you take this and did you take that? We can't sit down and come get on the law and solve our solutions. We gotta get a gun and try to kill each other because we scared to throw hands like we used to back in the day. And we weren't supposed to be doing that. The scripture say not to be a problem. Why do we get so far away from the Bible? Why? We, 
and for thy fear, for what? Thy fear. I will fear. What's the fear we got, son? Teach. Yeah. Hey, sis, what you about? You know the fear we got? What the dude like? Sis, I saw you earlier getting on the train and stuff. Do the Bible 28. Uh, think sis before Zizi Bar. You know what I'm talking about. What's the fear we got? Bring it out. Hey, sis, you got you got a flight? You got a flight? I just want to know, what is the fear that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have? Can you tell me that? I don't want to do I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm just asking the questions. But Sean having a hell of a conversation with us, and we want you to be involved a little bit too. You got a red like to wait for you, got it? Okay, we're going to read about that fear. You ready, Sean? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 66. We go! And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. You know, once, one of the many ways our life hanging down before us when we get pulled over by the police. You know that sound just like it was an ambulance or something. But if it was the police, you would have been scared as hell. What about that? Hold on, what up here? Nothing. At all. You get in the car with your paperwork, you got you got insurance, you got the seatbelt on. You get pulled over, you still get the sweat. Bring it That's up. one form of fear, son. Read it again. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. And thou shalt fear day and night. For what? Getting put out. Evicted. I heard of something like two years ago started, no cause eviction. What the hell is that? How can you put me out of my place of residence for no reason at any time? That's a fear. We got I just myself, I got a family. If I didn't have a family, it's still a damn fear. A job. You the first hired, no, the last hired and the first fired. Right. You've been getting paid the lowest since you've been there and working the hardest. Right. You got a fear not knowing if you're going to have your job tomorrow. Right. That's a fear. So all these things I'm showing you are fears. The police was, not the police, the, uh, Ku Klux Klan was snatching us out of our houses a couple of years ago. You ever seen the movie Rose Rosewood? I'm talking about the movie Rosewood with Vin Diesel? Not Vin Diesel. Uh, Vin Reigns. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You seen that movie? Stop, stop, stop. They were snatching them up over a lie. That's also a fear, Sean. Right. These are the things we're going to be saying up and more. We're going to have to suffer these things when we get our kingdom. But first, we must repent. Finish that. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 3. Uh -huh. it out. And it shall come to pass. In the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. From the hard what? Bondage wherein thou was made to serve. What is the hard bondage, Sean? What's the hard bondage? Continue? Okay, did you just come from work today? No, I'm just, uh, I make sure I have one up to call me. Okay. Okay, okay, so the hard bondage is talking about work as well. I was just going over there. You get work the hell out of you. Getting paid the lowest, but all that. That's a part of the hard bondage. As well as these curses, Deuteronomy 28. As well as the curses that's found upon uh, the Israelites to this day. That's, uh, that's what identifies us. You said you got kids, right? Yes. Okay. Have you ever heard about our kids being taken away from us? Not that. Now, maybe you personally, but uh, any of our people. You ever seen the story? You heard that, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters. Shall be given unto another people. That's a part of that well. That's a part of that as well. That's hard bondage. Where's the picture of she got a baby up? Look, right here I think it is. He's at the bottom. That's A to B to the bottom left, right? Your bottom left. But see these pictures down here? That's why we got them up here. Because we need images to help us connect the dots. That's a part of that suffering we're going through in Deuteronomy 28. Right. Our kids snatch from us at their will. Dude! We're in this position because of our sins, Sean, because we've been breaking the things that God told us to do. Break That's the plan. We hard hell as hell. Bring it out. We don't understand that like, God is not playing. Not then and not now. We have to get it right or you're going to die. Let's go. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Why? Because there's nothing else you can do. Still to this day, as a people, as a people, we don't have any economic might. We have no military might, what? no political might. What? There's nothing we can do but repent. The Lord that put us in a box in a corner and gave us a solution, and we some of us still running away from it. That's why two thirds of our people they must die. They have to die. They have to burn with this place. There's no saving them. Two thirds is the majority, correct? That's only one third of our people that's going to make it. What? If you want to be in that number, when the saints go marching in, you know who the saints is? The Israelites. That's what the Bible says. That's why I said God gave us His word. This is all dictionary, all the songs, everything. You don't need nothing else. You can get it all from right here because He gave you what He wants you to have. You understand? Be on. And there shall be no might in thy hand. No might. When we just went over, no political, no money, no military, nobody to fight for you for God. And you know how you get God to fight with you? A fight for you? How? You repent and get in line. You repent and get in line. All you got it, bro. That's the key. And that's what we are telling our people. What is nation? Nation is family.
nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 